Hey guys, welcome back. This is Scott. This is a UFO or disc seen on May 2006 back in Baghdad, Iraq. Now look at this. AI on the right and normal on the left. This was a photo taken by a United States soldier in Iraq during the Iraq confrontation over there. And look at this. This is just amazing. At the time, he said he didn't see it. However, it was in the photos later when he reviewed it. Look at that. That does look like some sort of disc, guys. Some sort of disc. Absolutely amazing. Very, very thin. Observing the war. Guys, that's just insane. Uh, this looks like some kind of pigeon or bird on the wire. Another one over here. It looks pretty focused. Not too bad. Very un you can't even tell what it is before AI edits it. But after AI, you can see the smoke coming to form. The building back there is all focused and everything. Just incredible footage. There's been a lot of UFO videos and such released from the Middle East, especially in the Iraq war area. Now, this one, this one is a little bit unusual. The detail is just amazing. Do you see that? That is March 29th, 2003 in Leningrad, Iceland. I'm not going to say that again, but I'll put it in the about description below. Okay, so this was recorded in Iceland at the time. And uh, guys, what is that? It looks like some kind of balloon or a cloud or maybe a spacecraft. Now, the black pieces on it make me think, wow, that, that could be some kind of alien craft uh however uh, it's very unusual it's very low i don't have a lot of information about this and it is really is really out there it looks like the guy's in a vehicle and it could be going through a window and when you take something through a window you have to worry about reflections you have to worry about uh things stuck to your window or what is this is this real is this not real? Is it just something stuck to the window? Obviously, you didn't fake it if it's faked. Uh, not faked on purpose, I should say. Uh, however, being taken through the window, it's a big no-no among UFO researchers to be careful of such things. Unless you, you have no choice, you're inside of a, a tall building. is the only option. Look at that. What is that, guys? That is crazy. It's like a giant birthday balloon or something but you know it's not you know it's not oh that's just nuts i don't know the shape's just so smooth and unusual this one this one again is from hungary this is budapest hungary uh a military pilot recorded a spectacular video we don't have the video though i couldn't find a search for it on september 29 2001 the craft was flying to his left on the side and then moved very fast past him into the clouds as he was seen in the video now like i said i didn't find the video i searched and searched but look at this the photo came out spectacular look at that look at the detail ai on the right normal on the left guys this thing passed a pilot a pilot that is nuts i was on flight over budapest hungary said the pilot who was requested that his name be withheld from official inquiry by the hungarian ministry of defense Okay, so he sent this information to the Ministry of Defense. To my left, I saw a bright metal aircraft that was shaped of a perfect disc. I was careful to film the object, not to try to chase it, since it could I could not match its speed, of course. As I was flying a reconnaissance aircraft, I got the idea to film it and use our equipment to do it. Uh, Hungarian uh, military defense tried to confiscate the video. He kept the video, however, released a few screenshots. This is one of them. I saw the other screenshots. I figured just to focus on this one. However, guys, if you could find the video, let me know. Let me know because I'd like to see it too. Guys, this is nuts. That silver disc thing. I don't see a hump on top. I don't see a hump on bottom. This is not the classic UFO. This is like a, 
I don't know, the Navigator movie or something. This is amazing. Hey, if you like these videos, hit that like and subscribe button. Really appreciate it. I don't make any money from this. There's no AdSense on my account. I do this for the public just to enlighten you. So if you could share this, uh, really helps me out. Thank you very much.